are back open. And we're at the Brockant. Now I've picked the most expensive thing in the shop here. It's in those two beautiful glass bookcases. They are gorgeous. But unfortunately this Brockant has some things that are a bit pricey. Some of it's cheap. But some of it's a bit more pricey. But they are up for 390 euros. Which is about... £350 um, but I would I would definitely buy at least one of those they are really beautiful the detail is incredible take you in a bit closer they just scream quality this one here oh they've both got a tassel on the key they've obviously come from the same place although they don't exactly match but the beautiful beveled glass and all these little details these metallic flowers and little details and even down here all these little metal decorations and then we have more along the bottom here on the legs and in the middle they are just beautiful my rooms are not ready for this yet this one again beautiful metal details the glass is slightly different because it's more arched at the top but they are gorgeous they're similar woods similar types of woods they're similar colors oh look at even the detail on the key there yeah they will look beautiful in someone's chateau There's even a picture of them with the books in. Quite quirky, aren't they? But again, they want too much money for them. It's a nice little set. What would you say? They were 80s? But, yeah, 25 euros, I think, is a bit much. They're pretty. They are, aren't they? Look at those handles. Yep. Aren't they gorgeous? They really and that's a dozen, dozen or ten? No, six. Yeah, twelve. 12. For seven euros. Oh, they're cute. Are they? They're not going to be silver, are they? No. Definitely no. Not. not something I'll use at the moment. Maybe eventually. No. Didn't you buy some little pastry forks before? I did. Before? I've got little... Um, but they're all quite good for pickles as well, those are. sort of things. Yeah. Oh, the brandy warmer, look. Proper one. <laughs> not that Tony ever goes to that trouble, but... He does like things like that. There's some nice books up there. It's a shame they're in French. Because <laughs> yeah. Tony would like them. Who is that? What little palm trees on it? It's in eight euros, but it doesn't tell me. Oops. Oh, I think it's some fabric. It's got a raw edge, so it must be some fabric. How much is it? Eight euros. Um, doesn't tell you how many. No. But it's eight euros. I just think that would be quite Christmassy, wouldn't it? Don't know how big the tablecloth is, but it feels fairly big. It feels nice as well. I might have that. I could even mix and match it with some gold stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have that. I have a lot of this chest of drawers here, and you can't see very well. It's not really bright enough. I absolutely love the handles. I'm zooming a little bit. They've got little lion's heads on. It's missing a tiny bit of veneer. I think that could be repaired. And they're just beautiful drawers. They work perfectly. The quality in that. And the shape. They've got these beautiful curves. Yeah, that's... It's got a lovely colour in that wood. That could be repaired on the top there. And this is 150 euros, so that's actually quite reasonable for that. You don't see many chests of drawers in France. I just love the shape of it, and it's obviously got a good age to it. And the colour in that wood is incredible. I wish it was a bit lighter in here. And the black and the red. Wow. I'm overtaken by this armoire as well. 
I think it's really pretty. It's got the lovely carved top. That's like a single sized. And it's, I think it's walnut. Looks like burr walnut. But yeah, very useful piece of furniture. And that is only 90 euros. I'll stand back so you can see it better. Oh yeah, it's a very pretty piece of furniture, but not a lot of money. Right, Tony's gone up to get the last set of shutters from the top of the front house. Now these shutters, we've never opened these, they've been wired together and there isn't actually a window behind it. Now they're putting up a fight. They were wired together, Tony's cut the wires, but he's still struggling to move them. Are they attached anywhere else? Should I go and look inside? Can't see that very well, that thing. Can you see it better up there? That crest. Hey? It looks like three horses. I didn't think it looked the same, but I suppose horses would make sense for it being a coaching inn. I might go in the hop up and have a look. Oh, <laughs> then again, I might not. Yeah, it's still making a mess. Still losing oil. <laughs> oh, Tony's already took one shutter down. Right, well, Tony's fitted the window into the hole that I don't think has ever had a window, is it? There was no remnants of a window, was there? All right, and he's foamed it all up around the edges. So he's waiting for that to go off. Now, we're having a bit of a problem with the colour. I don't think you can probably see it in here, but obviously there's a colour difference between the frame of the window and then the frame that Tony's made around the yeah, opening. I know it's not stained on here, but I, you can't see it here. I'll, I'll film it from the outside. Right, Tony's fitted his window and this is it from the outside. It looks very smart actually, except we can't match up the colour properly. You can see it better from out here what I'm talking about. But the wood stain that we bought is too orange. Oh yeah, it seems really strange to have a window up there now. I've only ever seen it with the closed up wired up shutters. But yeah, we definitely need some help with the colour there, Tony. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'll be just off to have a wander around. We're going to have a walk around the square out front here where we've seen Christmas decorations coming up. But we haven't seen what's around the rest of the town yet. And it's looking quite exciting. They've really made an effort this, this year. There's a new mayor and he's obviously pulled out all the stops. And it, it just looks very impressive. So we're going to have to put some of our own Christmas decorations up, especially at the front of the house. And we'll be doing that this week. Um, so I'll give a, I'll, I'll go and uh, film around the town, give you a little tour. <laughs> He's brilliant, isn't he? Mm. Looks like he's got acne. Well, he does close up, but not from a distance. I've seen a lot of the local children having their photographs taken with him. But yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? And then they've got this real tree here, which is quite unusual. Because it's not lit up, but it's all decorated. It's massive. But yeah, it's all covered in bauble and tinsels.
and then we have some lights around the trees. I've really made the effort, haven't I? That's the little school up there. And then all the streets have got these little um, garlands. And this is one of the shop windows. This shop isn't actually even open. But they've all made a really nice effort. And as you can see, we've got more garlands along the street. This shop has got decorations, but the lights aren't very bright. I've seen a light in this little church here. This is the one I filmed that was on the postcard but from the other direction. That's a really pretty window up there. I've never seen it all lit up. And then there's another round one on the front here. There's a lovely garland and a big display in the middle of the roundabout. And there's a round window all lit up there as well. Oh, that one's pretty. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. All the Christmas trees around the bottom and then it's got these big swags on the top as well. This is quite a lot of lights for France. You don't often see that many Christmas decorations. It's quite impressive. Anyway, Tony's waiting for me over here. I also spent a lot of money on those. Yes. But yeah, that's pretty good. Right, now if we walk back down this road um, towards the towards the um, showground um, I guess it's all decorated up Right oh, I've got a little Santa Claus up here can't see it very well, it's a bit too dark, but this is quite a big showground where they have the annual donkey fair. Come around the other side of the showground, I'm heading back towards the town. So, a lot of the trees around town have got little lights in. Heading back towards the Mary now. Wow, looks like the hairdresser's open again. Oh, she's got pretty lights. Let's see, we're coming back towards the centre of town now. This one is decorated, but their lights are not on at the moment, so I'm not sure how well you can see that. It's very pretty. And here we are outside the mares. Wow. That looks really beautiful. Very bright. This is where the little fountain is, another little tiny bit. Really pretty. This is quite spectacular. There's the little fountain you can hear behind there. Very pretty. All the, all the swags in the high street. And we're going to go around the back way. Oh, we're just coming around the side of the church here, or the front of the church. That's lit up. Wow. 
It doesn't look very pretty. Sneak up behind Tony. Wow. It does look lovely, little something like that. That's pretty, and that's not even Christmas lights, is it, Tony? Mm. <laughs> that water's quite high today, isn't it? I think we've got more water than what we've got. Sorry? I think we've got more water than what we've got. What, here? Yes. Um, because the river splits, I think, it's diverted through the what used to be the mill, and then it goes around the other side of the chateau. Yeah. Um, then there's what they call a false river. So there's two bits to it, although this bit here does actually flow past ours. Yes. Well, obviously it's wider here, it's not that deep here. I came round here a little while ago and you could see bits sticking out of the water. It's not very deep here at all. Mm. So it's like the old mill pond, isn't it? And then I suppose it, it gets a little bit deeper as it goes around the corner. But we've had quite a lot of rain, haven't we? So I haven't checked ours recently. Have you seen that? So it's probably quite high at our, our garden. But that looks beautiful. With that reflecting on the water. That's lovely. Right, let's go and see what they've got in the square. We have a Christmas market coming up, which we think is still on, although we're, we're still sort of in lockdown. But that's next weekend, so I shall be filming that as well. Yeah, that is so pretty. I can see some pretty lights. Oh wow, look at that. Yes, they have been busy, haven't they? That is pretty. <laughs> wow, just a huge curtain of lights. That's lovely. He's even got snowmen and everything, look. Wow, that's amazing. He's got seals <laughs> and penguins, rabbits on sledges. Oh, look at that little one there, Tone. These are the skiers. That's, that's brilliant. You can see this little one lit up at the top here with the skiers going down. That's lovely. Oh, I'm trying to zoom in on that one. I like that one. So we've looked, we've got a seal, a fox, penguin I presume that white one is, a rabbit. <laughs> oh, we've got Santa as well, a snowman. Oh, he has been busy, look, bless, Santa and his sleigh. That's really lovely, that one there, look, like the street lamp. Mm. Oh, was that a Christmas tree up there? Yeah, look, there's a Christmas tree in the middle as well. And there's 
wreaths all the way around on every post. <laughs> oh, they've been really, really busy. It's all quite magical. Right, let's just have a look around the Halla. The Hal. And look, Christmas wreaths. And they're all different on every single one of these with lovely old wooden posts. Oh, I can't wait for the Christmas market. Wow. And he's going without me. <laughs> oh. We have a Christmas tree right at the end here. More wreaths up there. They have really done well this year. That just looks amazing. There's even what looks like little presents on the tree. <laughs> That's brilliant. <clears throat> right. I'm just going to walk around the corner. We're nearly back home. There we are, back to our square. the pretty window all lit up. I'm back to the square and a big elf. <laughs> oh and this one's lit up now. That's really pretty too. <laughs> it's feeling really Christmassy now. Right, now it's our turn. We've still got a couple of weeks to go yet, there'll be more. <laughs> <laughs> 